So hello and welcome to episode 3 in our learning series and uh, this time I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful slow motion fluid simulation. One hand here, this animation has been rendered using the Octane renderer and uh, for this tutorial we are using cycles. Um, it might look a little bit different but it will look good. Okay, so here we go. We need a uh, domain. Let's make that cube bigger. Make that one uh, domain. And we need the big sphere, what will be our drop. Uh, make it this size, make it fluid. And we need something that hits it. That hits it. All right. So this will be our invisible bullet. And make that an obstacle. And this is also uh, required to be a rigid body because we are going to use a rigid body simulation. And now let's set up 500 frames. And one very important thing for you, remember this, when you change the end frame here and uh, you want the rigid body simulation to be uh, 500 frames too, you need to tell Blender this. And you find it in the rigid body cache and here are the start and end frames, so type in 500 here. I bet there would be many people that are frustrated now because they didn't know this. Okay, now let's play the animation and you'll see the sphere is falling down, but we want uh, the unnatural thing to have it uh, falling from the left to the right side, so disable z-axis here and this moves positive x. Yes, this is negative x and positive x-axis, so type in positive 9.81, play the animation, yes, and that is what we want to have. Now the next thing is, uh, let's, um, let's animate the speed of uh, the rigid body word, so set a keyframe for speed here, while holding the mouse cursor here, press I, play the animation till short before, let's say here press I again and then I would say 10 frames later 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10 we want to have 0.1 press I on your keyboard and let's check if it looks beautiful yes and uh, why I'm doing this in this way is uh, we want the sphere not to, to slow down to a uh, heart before hitting the bigger sphere because the faster it is, the more splash we will have in the beginning. So make sure the first hit or the first contact is with a higher speed and then inside the bigger sphere, the smaller sphere becomes slower. So let's say it should be slow till here. Press I again. And let's say 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We want to have the normal speed. So press I. And now play the animation. And that looks fantastic. So don't stop the animation playback yet because we want to have all 500 frames in the cache. So follow that green line here and see the uh, yellow line on the bottom. So now it has been finished. And when it has been done, we move the cache to bake by hitting that button here. Um, why do I, I not use bake all dynamics? Uh, it's because um, I had sometimes when uh, animating the speed value here and use bake all to then bake all dynamics that blender crashes and uh, first filling the cache and then converting it to the bake uh, always works perfectly. So you see that becomes a darker orange here. That means the bake has been finished successfully and now we should save that into a file. So let's name that slow mo. All right, and save. Okay, and of course we need that animated speed exactly the same um, uh, animation or keyframes for the uh, simulation speed of the flip fluids domain. So the way I do it is I use a graph editor to make the keyframes visible. Um, while all are selected, I copy them to the clipboard. And now I select the domain go to the physics tab here and that one keyframe for the speed value by pressing i <clears throat> so it appears here in the graphics uh, graphics viewer and then while well, speed is selected paste 
So now we have the exact the same keyframes for the speed animation of the flip fluid simulator. All right, so um, one important thing uh, is um, to set the gravity of the domain to zero. So let's go to the word panel here and change scene gravity to custom and type everywhere zero. So now we have no gravity and enable word scaling. I found out the higher that value is, um, that more white water particles will be generated. So uh, I took some time and rendered uh, some different simulations with different uh, uh, values here uh, and made a new comparison video. I'm going to upload it soon. Okay, so that is a 20. And uh, let's go to white water, enable it. We just need the bubbles. So disable foam and spray, not required. And the surface, we should set subdivisions to one because that gives us a more stable uh, surface. All right, so the scene should be ready. I would say a resolution of 100 would be fine for a first test. Uh, in your final render, you can increase this to let's say 200 or series 300 that depends on what you would like to see so while everything is uh, set up let's save the scene again oh and wait before we click on bake uh, we have to make that an uh, obstacle and we have to check the export animated mesh checkbox here otherwise uh, that will not work okay so now press on uh, bake All right, I would say 170 uh, bake frames will be enough. So let me stop it here. And uh, this is our result. So um, let's play the animation. And if you found that it is too slow, you can uh, switch to the preview uh, mode for the viewport display, reload the frame, and then play the animation. And yes, this is what we have here. Um, you can press Z to see the wireframes and take a look what's happening inside and well that looks beautiful all right so um this is how to do the simulation now let me show you uh, how to set up the scene uh, for rendering so uh let's uh, go under the rendered view here rendered preview and uh, select the big sphere what is the surface uh, first thing here is we need a uh, glass material so let me take a glass material and I think the right index of refraction is 1.334 and um, make sure that the color is white uh, by default it's not it's a shiny gray uh, so make sure it's white pull it up here so the transparency looks much better it is uh, more perfect and uh, what I do to have a more beautiful surface is uh, I go to the modifier tabs and add a smooth modifier to it and add it to 2 and 2 and also I press space and type in smooth to shade smooth so and that looks very beautiful so why not take another frame maybe this so we can also see what's happening inside and as you can see now the bubbles are not visible make them visible so click on the domain object and slide down to the display settings um, disable the render only icon uh, checkbox here and reload the frame so bubbles are visible but they are way too big so resize them let's say 0.007 reload frame or go one frame back or uh, forward so that is a little bit better and for the bubbles we will make a new material new and that is also a glass shader but with an index of refraction 0.75 what is a good value for um for stuff that's inside water okay and uh, i would say we should render that one frame to see how it uh, will look with the final resolution so let's 
uh, display rendered in a new window. So I and then pl press F12. That is what we have here. And um, we would now need to set a, a more beautiful uh, background. Go to the words tab and click on use notes and we will have a look to the color here and use click on that small uh, sphere or dot here and use gradient texture that is looking like that and let's go to the uh, node editor and click on the words tab here so you can see this is our uh, gradient and add a note here. Um, let me think as brightness and contrast will work. So put it here and then increase the value for brightness like this an example and you will see that it looks way better. All right and you can choose another contrast or you can choose um, something like diagonal or spherical. So Whatever you like, you can uh, do it in other ways, but I think that looks very beautiful using a gradient for the background. And um, let's play the animation some more frames. So it comes out here at this point. Okay. Don't worry, this is just a preview. So when you click on final and reload the frame, you would see everything looks great here and uh, okay so let's render that frame and take a look how it is looking like it uh, maybe needs some uh, tweaks so it depends on your creativity and um, this is how it works i hope you enjoyed this uh, episode 3 and if you have some requests you can put them uh, below to the comments please see you the next time